in the last tutorial i talked about transformation of crs so in this tutorial i'll uh, tell you how to produce a standard map and map atlas and what is map atlas also we'll learn by this practice so in the last tutorial we had uh, extracted the layers from the uh, whole nepal and then in the next uh, step we saved all these layers to different projection system so now we will create a map using the utm projected layers so first of all we start a new map we uh, let us uh, you you can save it but this time i am just discarding it so now uh, we start from the beginning uh, let us see our layers created uh, before so we had created layers under video here the video is here so if you don't see the this folders you have to refresh so province 07 utm you, if we see there are all these six layers so we just drag and drop drop and a new thing we see that in the last time it was three uh, four three two six and uh, in this case we have three two six four four so when we create a new map uh, or new Q qgis project it will always show 4326 or WGS84 geographic coordinate system. But when we add a layer to the canvas, the projection or coordinate reference system of the map will change to the newly added layer. So now we can see this. And now, first of all, we change the symbol to saved ones so we load the style not save but load the style from so first one is province load style okay similarly road same way municipality so again we will use saved style so it is saved as municipality.qml okay now district so i have not saved the symbology of district so again i will use the saved style for province and then change change its uh, symbol so i'll keep it green and the upper one yellow is okay and green we make it a bit narrow and airport airport will use airport symbol so 
so airports are shown here so we, we can do leveling and other things now uh, if you want to show all the layers properly then we need to rearrange this one so first uh, in the bottom we keep municipality then district uh, then we keep this uh, state and then road So we rearrange this to show all the layers properly. Now let us label this one airport. So level single levels and name of the level is name. So if we apply, we can see the names here. So We can buffer, uh, buffer here, like 0 0.5. Okay. Similarly, we can also name uh, this by the village name so we can change the, the this like times and again buffer this one and color of the buffer we can change and also we keep it 0.5 then and also text of the layer we can change the color so now airport and the municipality are uh, displayed uh, differently but you can make it better so let us change its rendering for example scale based visibility same as before so for example keep it 400,000 apply then all the villages will not be shown here so we can also change the visibility of the Levels for airports. So, so uh, now we have completed the leveling everything and we create a print layout. So we use the layout manager and we create a layout and we say it like province map and we get a different window so it is totally different from this but when we add a map it will fo uh, follow the what is selected in this what is visible in our main map that will be shown here so there are many elements various elements here so we select one by one so first of all we select this roll map icon and put it here so as soon as we draw the rectangle 
the map will be rendered here and now for the title we select the title here and we can edit the title by using this so for example a map of Sudur your name so you can change this font and everything like the color whatever you like and font font you can change to times like you can select 20 or maybe 30 and keep it uh, in the middle so center middle okay so uh, we have created the title and if you want you can create a frame around this map so if you look now it is inside a frame so we have created map with title so there are two elements here so when we click an element the item properties will be uh, based on the element we have selected so for example if we select this text the properties of text will be displayed here now uh, we will add some other elements like the scale bar so a scale bar we can customize like left one right two and 25 20 so these kind of things we can change we can also change the type of this there are many so like this as you uh, you want so you can move using arrow also so next one we use north arrow so let us choose a north arrow so north arrow we can select from here arrows okay So we have selected the north arrow and finally we select the legends from here for example if we place the legend here and also we can customize these legends like if you deselect this auto update then for example you can move the municipality up So top of this and we can also change this uh, municipality for example to this capital so we can do many uh, changes like state or province boundary river
airport also uh, road also now we add grid and coordinates so let us see how we can add the grids so we can just follow what i am doing so once grid one is selected then we can modify it so for example let us place at every 10 kilometers so it is uh, quite too many so we change it to 50,000 so once we move to another text then we can see the how it looks so 50,000 by 50,000 we selected and next we draw the coordinates so on the left and right we uh, and top and bottom we have coordinates but we don't need all these so we keep the coordinates on uh, left and bottom only so left okay right we don't need and top we don't need so we have only in the bottom and left so in the left side you can make it vertical so it looks much better so now uh, everything is complete so in the next part i will tell you how to create atlas so let us save this uh, like in the video map practice okay